Welcome viewers to our program. Today I have a special guest to talk to us about the seminary at the Adventist University of Africa. Welcome to our program. Um, may you please tell us a bit about yourself? Thank you very much. I am David Sondra Zafir Vuni. I am the current dean of the Theological Seminary of our university. I am married. My wife is teaching also business in the University, and we have two grown up children, two daughters. Wow, that's wonderful. Now, tell us briefly about the Theological Seminary at the Adventist University of Africa. Well, the Theological Seminary is one of the two schools of the university. We have the Theological Seminary and we have the School of Postgraduate Studies. And uh, we have started in 2006 with one program in the Theological Seminary, and that was Master of Arts in Pastoral Theology. But since then, we have grown up, and we have now uh, seven programs in the Theological Seminary. Wow, that's tremendous growth. What is the mandate of the seminary? Yes, the mandate of the seminary is very clear and very precise. During the annual council of the General Conference of the Adventist Church, 2003, in the United States, a decision was taken to have a, an institution that offers graduate and postgraduate uh, degrees in theology, ministerial studies, and church leadership for the free division in Africa. So it's a kind of uh, exclusive mandate, and that mandate itself was affirmed by uh, partnership meetings of the leaders of the church in Africa back in 2007 in Arusha, Tanzania. Um, could you Tell us why an Adventist graduate, or should I say postgraduate, theological or ministerial education is needed in Africa. Is it necessary? Well, you know, theological education in our church is a quite sensitive area because of the, you know, theological trends and all kinds of teachings which are not biblical teaching. And uh, the uh, Adventist Church itself is distinctive. I, I mean, it has a distinctive nature. So uh, that nature itself calls for a theological education in Africa, not only undergraduate theological ministerial education, but especially graduate, postgraduate theological education. That is one. Two, the growth of the church in Africa. We know that uh, in ECD, for example, we have more than 4 million members. In SID, approximately the same. In WAD, in West Africa, we have about 1 million Seventh-day Adventist members. So that growth itself calls for a theological education so that we can train our leaders to face the challenges uh, in the world today, a specialized, uh, you know, uh, training, education for different uh, ministries in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And that's the reason why we need a graduate and postgraduate institution here in Africa, just like they have in the Philippines for the Asian continent, just like they have uh, Andrews University uh, in Northern America. So we thank God for uh, anyway, the theological seminary that is uh, in it. And um, looking at the theological seminary, it's now in Africa. What, what is its role in training leaders for the church in Africa and beyond? Well, as I have said already, the role of the theological seminary is to train leaders in, in Africa. And uh, that is the mandate that, uh, that we have. 
So the theological seminary attempts to mold uh, students, uh, future leaders of the church, okay, in the areas of commitment and uh, integrity as they served the, the church in Africa. They will be uh, leaders of the church and uh, we can say that the, the eternal life of members may depend on their ministries. So uh, the theological seminary is very important for these uh, future leaders of the church in Africa. That's so important. Um, looking at um, our setup, we've had other theological seminaries all around uh, away from Africa that are postgraduate, how would you rate the role or the necessity of Adventist University of Africa Seminary in this whole setup, comparing with what we have elsewhere? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, as we have mentioned already, the exclusive mandate of AUA, the Theological Seminary. So for the graduate studies, postgraduate studies, uh, the, the programs are only offered by uh, AUA. So no other uh, you know, institutions in Africa can offer these uh, graduate and postgraduate programs. And that's why the role of uh, AUA is very important, extremely uh, uh, important, uh, because it's not only because of the exclusive mandate but because uh, the theological seminary, in a sense, is giving or providing a theological ministerial direction for the church in Africa and maybe even beyond Africa. Thank you very much. Um, can you tell us the kind of students that you have in the theological seminary? What is their profile? What can you say about them? Yeah, specifically the, the, the graduate, the mm -hmm. students who have gone through the doors, you know, through mm -hmm. the programs at, uh, at AUA. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have many points, okay, as a profile of a graduate, mm -hmm. what we want the people, the church to see in our graduates. But I can just mention a few of those, uh, you know, our points here. For mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. our graduate will engage in sound hermeneutical principles for biblical interpretation and learning. And as you know, our Sabbath school uh, discussion uh, lesson is about uh, biblical interpretation. Mm -hmm. So students will be able to engage in correct biblical interpretation when they have done, you know, uh, with the uh, studies at uh, Aiway. Mm -hmm. uh, another point is demonstrate theological, religious and practical skills mm -hmm. necessary for effective ministry and leadership in all phases of church life. Mm -hmm. Another point is serve as proficient, well-motivated and committed workers in church and society. We talked about uh, commitment, mm -hmm. okay, loyalty uh, to the church. And that is uh, important, and we want to see our graduate as, uh, as such. And then the last one I can mention is uh, practice and promote personal biblical spirituality, which could influence the formation of strong spiritual service and mission-oriented communities. As we have said, these are spiritual leaders. And maybe, as uh, we have said, maybe the, the, the eternal life of the members of the church may depend on the, you know, on the ministries of these leaders graduating from Aiwe. So we want them to be uh, strong spiritual leaders. Um, you mentioned that um, the seminary has grown from one program to seven. Yes. What are these seven programs that you offer? Yes, the, the, the first one was a main pastoral theology that started in 2006. And since then, we added uh, a main missiology, then a main uh, uh, biblical and theological studies, 
Master of Chaplaincy. Then recently uh, we have uh, Master of Divinity. Those are master's uh, program. Then we have a Doctor of Ministry and a PhD as doctoral programs. PhD we have in New Testament, Old Testament, Systematic Theology and Mission Concentrations. So those are the seven programs that we have now in the Theological Seminary. Are you able to give us a brief on each one of them, just a brief description? Yes, as the program itself mm -hmm. says, uh, MN Pastoral Theology, for example, trains uh, pastors. And uh, if they want to pursue their studies, then they can do a Doctor of Ministry or they can do a, a PhD in Biblical and Theological Studies, adding some more courses, uh, uh, of course. And then the AMA in missiology uh, training, missiologists in uh, African traditional religion and in Islamic studies also. Then you have uh, Master of Divinity and this is basic training for pastors in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. So uh, they can pursue their studies for Doctor of Ministry or PhD in Biblical and Theological Studies uh, uh, later on. Then we have a Master of Chaplaincy, and as the name says it, it's to train uh, chaplains in the church, uh, in the army, in educational institutions, or in hospitals. Then we have Doctor of Ministry, of course, a specialized training for the ministry, for leadership in the church, and uh, uh, MA in Biblical and Theological Studies, which is followed up by uh, PhD in Biblical and Theological Studies. These are theologians but in specialized ministry in the, in the church. So when one has done a Master of Arts or Master of Chaplaincy, mm -hmm. can they still proceed and do further studies at AUA again? Exactly, at AUA or uh, elsewhere. Okay. And uh, that's one of the, uh, the goals you know, of each program, to prepare them for further studies. Okay. Now, um, in the... Of almost 14 years, the institution has been um, in existence. How many students have graduated and where are they serving at the moment? Yeah, to give you an idea, for now the Theological Seminary has four, I mean 507 students currently enrolled. Of course, uh, more students are coming in, being admitted into uh, programs. But uh, so far, as of May, we have uh, 507 students. Now, since uh, the beginning of the uh, school, the Theological Seminary, we have graduated 428 students. Okay, mm -hmm. that is from 2009 to 2019. And these graduates are seven, uh, serving the church mm -hmm. in different uh, capacities and ministries and uh, we see the result in the phenomenal growth of the church in Africa because of the successful leadership and ministry of these graduates from AUA. Wow, that's, that's quite a lot of students. Mm -hmm. Now, for someone wishing to come to AUA, what kind of people, who do you admit to come into the Theological Seminary at Adventist University of Africa? Well, uh, most of the, the programs require a bachelor's degree or undergraduate degree in theology or in religion. But we have one program which is made for students who did not do uh, theology or religion in their undergraduate, uh, undergraduate degree. And it is uh, MDiv. So any area of studies, as long as it is bachelor's degree, uh, can be a basis for admission into this uh, Master of Divinity program at the University of uh, Adventist University of Africa. And, and finally, um, how are you conducting your lessons in view of the pandemic that is restricting classroom gathering? How are you doing your studies with the students that are currently enrolled? Well, currently we have what we call emergency remote teaching. All programs are now uh, online. 
So the students have gone home since the school has been closed sometime in March because of the, the COVID. So they are using technology, Zoom, model, and uh, any uh, other means that are uh, available. But it's not only uh, emergency remote teaching. We have designed a whole program, and that is a main pastoral theology, which hopefully will be offered uh, completely online uh, very soon. So we uh, thank God for uh, what he has done. And uh, everything is provided for the institution to be able to move on and uh, accomplish its mission as uh, given to us by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Any final words for the viewers and for the students who are away from the institution at the moment? Well, we would like to say that uh, all are welcome to the Adventist University of Africa, especially in the Theological Seminary. We have our website that you can see when you go to the internet and uh, all information is provided there. So I would like to encourage you, prospective students, please go and check our website and uh, please uh, communicate with us so that we can uh, be in contact with you and uh, welcome you to our midst uh, sometime soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time and for sharing with us what the Theological Seminary at the Adventist University of Africa is doing and has been doing. Viewers, thank you so much for your time and that's all we had for you today. Thank you.